you are leaning on the horse with your knees as well it's something okay well let's get a show of betting because they're loading up fairly quickly for the queen's wells well, shanty star 72 favorite santando this has been well backed nine to two from five new south wales very solid uh, 11 to two it's found its mark there dalaran is sixes uh, and the interesting one uh, cruz spiel that has been really well backed 14s into eight to one the springer in the market in the last few minutes it's an on-course gamble on that one yeah, 14s to 8 is very significant. Wasn't too impressive at Chester, though. Now Santando going forward near the inside. That's it. And they're racing. A roar from the crowd. It's probably the noisiest start of them all here at Royal Ascot. Right in front of the stands. And one of the first away, a Nambo, right there in the centre. Goes on from Shanty. Star is up there and out deeper on the track. Gold medalist as they sort themselves out. Lying in fourth is Delarum. And then on the outside is Singleton. Tucked away behind them, New South Wales. Heading up with a circuit to go. Further back in the field then is Muta Jeb in the striped cap. Back on the inside of runners amid the chaos from Cruz Spiel. Third last as they go around the uh, uh, turn out of the straight now is Santando in that yellow jacket as they turn very sharply right-handed. Now they've got just over a, a mile and a half to travel. And at this stage, about 12 lengths covering the field. Wavertree Boy and Icklingham are back towards the rear. The leader, though, on the inside as they settle, and Nambo by a length to Moon uh, to a gold uh, medalist up on the outside. Shanty Star tucked away third, a half to Singleton, a length further back then is New South Wales. Dalaram is further back in the field, then on the inside amid the chaos. Muta Jeb is next from Cruz Spiel, two lengths to Santando. Still third last, a couple of lengths to Icklingham, and on the outside, Wavertree Boy is last 12 links covers them as they continue their journey downhill heading all the while towards Swinley bottom a mile and a quarter out a Nambo on the inside just shows the way in the white sleeves up on the outside is gold medalist in second tucked away shanty star the gray in third from Singleton with a pink cap New South Wales behind them from Muta Jeb two links further back is Delarum tucked away on the inside amid the chaos from Cruz Spiel and then Santando Higgling him as second last and Wavered Free Boy still last as they pass the mile peg they We've got 12 lengths covering them, and Anambo still the pilot. Out in front here, shows the way, three parts of a length. Up on the outside in second is gold medalist from Shanty Star, has had a good run today, tucked in behind them. They're followed then by Singleton as they come out of Swinley Bottom, tucked away behind them is New South Wales, starting their climb up towards home. Buta Jeb is next, followed by Delarum, who's just taken to the outside amid the chaos, is tucked away behind runners as they race uphill all the a while. The Cruz Spiel is back in the field. Santando getting a reminder. A couple of lengths then to Icklingham is well back from Wavertree Boy. Passing the five. Anambo still showing the way. From gold medalist and Shanty Star being chased along now. Two lengths to Singleton. The pace is really on. Followed then by New South Wales Delarum. Further back in the field's Muta Jeb from Cruz Spiel. A gap then to on the inside amid the chaos who hasn't picked up from Santando. Wavertree Boy and Icklingham on the turn for home though and it's on the inside Anambo who shows the way Anambo with two and a half furlongs to travel is the leader from gold medalist Shanty Star now easing to the outside New South Wales single to try to keep Shanty Star in there nowhere to go the grey followed by Cruz Spiel and down the outside Muta Jeb inside the two though gold medalist and single and Shanty Star getting into the clear trying to have another crack at them from Cruz Spiel and they're clear of New South Wales inside the final furlong Shanty Star ranges up now grabs the lead on the outside Cruz Spiel the plunge was trying to beg it back from Singleton but Shanty Star in front and holding them at bay as they go to the line Shanty Star's going to win it from in second Singleton third Cruz Spiel fourth New South Wales from gold medalist then Icklingham Delarum further back amid the chaos they were followed further back by Muta Jeb Wavertree Boy then Anambo and Santando but the winner is Shanty Star, and it's a fifth win at the meeting for Mark Johnston. Second is Singleton, third is Cruz Spiel, followed by New South Wales in fourth, in fifth, then is gold medalist in sixth, is Icklingham, seventh to Larum. Then in eighth is Amid the Chaos, Muta Jeb in ninth, as they cross the line, tenth is Wavertree Boy, Santando is eleventh. And Anambo, the early leader, is 12th and last.
The winner, though, is number 11, Shanty Star, owned by Maktoum El Maktoum, trained by Mark Johnston, his fifth winner at Royal Ascot this week, and ridden by Kevin Darley. Second is number 13, Singleton, owned by Prince Carl Abdullah, trained by Henry Cecil, and ridden by Richard Quinn. And third, number five, Cruz Spiel, owned by Pat Garvey, trained by John Ox, and ridden by Fran Berry. That's the one, two, three. New South Wales was fourth. But Shanty Star, there he is, the grey. He's done it well in the end. He, uh, there was uh, plenty going on in the home straight, but he bulked his way through eventually and got the money. Well, these Mark Johnston horses are extraordinary yeah. because you think they're off the bridle, you think they're struggling, and then they keep finding more. Have a look at this incident. Richard Quinn trying to keep Kevin Darley on the grey horse, Shanty Star, the eventual winner, trying to keep him blocked in. It works. Shanty Star <coughs> loses about two lengths there, and I think there would have been a steward's inquiry had he not gone on and won. But actually, Singleton, having hit the front now, either doesn't quite stay the two miles or Shanty Star just stays it better, which I think is probably the well, answer. Well, there's another way of looking at that, Claire. Maybe uh, Kevin Darley was pushing his way out. Uh, I would like to see that again, but uh, it uh, obviously made no difference to the result. Shanty Star, a horse who seems to gallop and gallop.